Hello, my monstrosities. Hello once again. Today I bring to you a tier list review. I've been seeing that this tier list has been doing numbers on Reddit, something I typically don't go on. So if you want to try to add me on Reddit or however this website works, um, probably won't be too fruitful for you. I never check it. But every now and again, I see something interesting enough to actually look at for more than 10 seconds. Today, that is this tier list that apparently popped up three days ago. But when I opened Reddit for something else, it was like, oh, it's hot and popping. At 2.8 thousand, 92 percent upvoted. So, I wanted to get into this. I looked at it briefly for a second, and it looked all right. And then after that, we're going to get into some other things. But for right now, the tier list review. Um... Let's see. I think it'd be more fun to start from the bottom and then go up because there is some um there's some things here that I was very interested about. So, oh, look at that. It, look at this pretty graphics and whatnot. So, just one more time. I'm just going to have this here. This was posted by you bar underscore ah underscore username Eclipse zero six six. Um, so, that's on Reddit, and we're going to put it in a YouTube video. Uh, needless to say, don't be a salty, whiny baby if you disagree with something on this. And, you know, don't go messing with people. Just, you know, keep coming here, give your thoughts politely if you came from a video. I, or stream video, I don't know if I'm making this a video yet, but as of right now, just don't be mean to people. As for the tier list, starting from the bottom, strongest to weak, to weakest, left to right, all baddies, even dear tier ones, D tier ones, can still be strong and viable. Yeah, I don't know about strong, but viable. Um, we have the tiers of overpowered, S, okay, very strong, A plus, strong, A minus, okay, so we're bringing minuses into this. Decent B plus. Oh, we're not. Okay, so it's plus or minus. No. Wait. Oh, okay. Let me shut up. Let's actually just go through it. Strong A minus. Decent B plus. Average B minus. Slightly weak is a straight C. And weak is a straight D. This is based on average games and survivors. How they do at their worst and best. Points considered. Skill ceiling. Map dependency. Add-ons dependency. Build dependency. Add-ons versatility. Variability. Potential. Considering you'll play on all maps, considering the average builds and add-ons generally used, considering how they do against the current meta. Which is a good question of what the current meta is, considering um, MFT just got hit. So, I guess we'll have to see a second what that will be, and knowing behavior with the uh, Survivor coming out in January, I believe. They'll have some new something stupid that we gotta all worry about, but... Until then, who knows what the meta truly is at the moment. I'm guessing we're going to talk about, uh, well, I mean, not here, because this is the baddie tier list. Eclipses, baddie tier list. Good job. Make sure that you claim your, claim your ish, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know what we can call the current meta. But if this was made three days ago, I think they were considering, and Chucky's on here, so they were considering MFT just got hit. So I don't know. Um, interesting sentence to leave it off on, but from what I've seen so far, I think I'd agree with the general feel of it. But let's get to it. So, in D tier, the weak, strongest to weakest left to right, so that means the strongest of D tier at the top of D tier, we have Freddy placing over Michael and Trapper. Ooh, that's a, I didn't know that we could be this spicy so far, but I think I agree. Ooh, do I agree with Michael over Trapper, though? Yeah, I think I, I think I agree. See, Freddy at least has the ability to teleport, so there's that. Um, whew. I think that's kind of where it stops, really. Um, Freddy has mobility momentarily and a 
secondary objective, which will slow the game down for you ever so slightly, not the most, not like a uh, reverse bear trap or like a pinhead Cenobite cube uh, lament configuration, but enough that sometimes people will get too cocky and just go, well, I'm going to go do the clock when I could be literally just trying to get everybody out the game, so I can agree with Freddy placing over the other two. Now, for the race to the bottom, there's Michael and Trapper. Michael and Trapper. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. I think, as far as yeah, how they do at their best and their worst, yeah, I guess, in the best case, Michael can just straight up take all four survivors out of, out of the game. Whereas Trapper... Yeah, there's no getting around it. You have to pick up your traps. You have to lug them around, reset them, go get them. At the best, everybody's in a trap for Trapper. At the best for Michael, everybody's Mori and out the game straight up. Um, at the worst, you never get out of Tier 1. And at the worst, you never have anybody get into a trap and you've wasted your time getting them. So, you know, I can understand that. Uh, other points considered, let's see, skill ceiling, I'd say Trapper wins out in skill ceiling, though. Um, I think that's one where it does take more skill to know the patches of grass and tiles that textures would blend in with how to place traps and certain cutoff points. So I'd say I'd give skill to Trapper, map dependency, Michael. You really don't have map dependency given what your power is. Add-on dependency, you don't have add-on dependency necessarily with either because they're both kind of kind of cheeks. Uh, average builds and add-ons generally used. What is the add-ons and generally used for the average build for Michael and Trapper? Good question because nobody realistically is playing them enough to have that, for being honest. And how they do versus the current meta. Well, at least in Tier 3, Michael can vault at people faster and lunge a little bit further to catch up to people. Whereas Trapper, you just have to pray that they go into your trap. So, you know, I, I, guess, we can, I guess we can do that. Then we move up to the C tier. The C tier. Interesting. We're starting off with Tricky at the top of C. Then Ghosty, Clown, Legion, and Pig at the bottom of C. Interesting. Interesting. I don't... I think this might be the row that I disagree with the most, if I'm being honest. I think I put Clown at the top of C out of these. Let's see. Over Legion, yeah. Over pig, yeah. Over ghost face, yes. I think I think in the current state of Trickster, as a Trickster main, I think Clown beats out Trickster. Yeah. Uh at their worst and their best. Okay, let's let's reconsider. At best, you get main event and you mow down two people back to back. Um Clown, at best, you stabiffle rapid brutality to people back to back. And you don't have to reload out of locker. What else? 115, there is some trick shots still in the game, especially with no recoil. You can do it tricky. But 8 and the last race in going away. Does really I yeah, I think I just feel stick to my my original that I put clown, then trickster, then ghostface. Oh. Oh, I take that back. I think I'd put clown, then trickster. And at their best and at their worst. I think I put Pig over Ghostface. I think truthfully I put Pig over Ghostface. Because really, at best, you can just do something evil with a head pop build where Ghostface, you don't really have that. 
Um, there's nothing that you have that just kind of makes you auto win against people. I think I'm going to be placing in my head auto more is higher than consistency if we're going to take account their best and their worst. At worst, everybody gets their trap off in one go, but they still have to slow down to do that, right? Whereas at Ghostface, at worst, yeah, you just keep getting revealed and you never catch anybody that you mark. So, I think, I think in order that I would probably consider a little bit more, I do agree that everybody here is in C tier, though. I don't, it hurts to say, but the current iteration of Trickster is bad. I only think keeping him from D is 115 and projectiles, I guess. So, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with them all being in C. However, I think for me, I'd place Clown, then Tricky, then Pig, then Ghostface, then Legion. That'd be my take. Then we go to Average with B-, and this is interesting to see, if I'm being honest. Demo, Knight, Doctor, Wraith, Dredge, Nemesis, Billy, and Bubba at the bottom of B-. I, wow, I, okay, seeing Doctor over Wraith, Dredge, Billy and Bubba is, uh, is a take. Doctor, huh? I don't see anything Doctor can do necessarily better than the other ones. Yeah, you go, they can mathematically get the RBTs off in one search now, though, can't they? So. Yeah, you're right. There's at eh, I'm sorry, I'm just now seeing that. I'm uh, opening this here, going a little bit back further down to C. You're right. Mathematically, they can't get the RB. They can't get all four traps off in one search. Yeah, I'd heck with that. No, I think I'd steal place just slightly over Ghosty and not above Trixie. But yeah. Thank you for that correction. I completely forgot about that. Now, yeah, you theoretically cannot have all four of them get it off in one. So to see Pig at the bottom of C is wild. I don't, I don't see a world where Legion and Ghostface are more consistent than that. I really don't. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, hey, this is this person's list, but... I think if I was to rearrange that, that is something that needs to be considered. That they cannot. I think Pig, I still reckon she's re Yeah, bottom is a big yikes. I think Pig, um... I think we rag on Pig a little bit too much. That I think Pig can be... I know, I know she's not great, don't get me wrong. But I don't think bottom of C is that bad. Like, that's just barely over Freddy. And I think Pig has a lot more evilness to be done within the realm than Legion and Ghostface. Especially when you can't really be revealed in, in that sense where your stealth is just going. Now mind you, you move slower, but yeah. Uh, but to the B-, minus, the one that I'm struggling with is Doctor. Over some, over two that have insta-downs, one that can catch up in speed, one that can teleport, and one that has a projectile that also breaks things. Doctor is wild to me. And I don't even know how to rearrange any of this. I think I think this is all just far gone from my mind. I think B- is fair. I don't necessarily think any of these are the powerhouses that you see above. Demo is perfectly average overall. I think everything you do about Demo is perfectly average. Then you go to Knight, who, as somebody that's been playing more Knight, more and more, especially with the trickster state of the game, uh, I'm surprised Knight actually isn't higher, if I'm being honest with you. A lot of people hate Queen against Knight. Now, mind you, I, I do think the thought is that Doctor has map search with AoE Screams, which average for new players. That... 
<laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think that I think that might be the only possible thing that can be fighting for here. So yeah, I guess in a new player's sense. But I think the other ones are just so much worse. Like I think that one is uh, I'm just cannot believe, Doctor. I think that throws off a lot of what I was thinking with this list to see. Like I just glanced over it and was like, yeah, that checks out, but I didn't really pay attention to see Doctor just right below Knight, somebody that constantly people hate on to go against. And to see Knight not further up is interesting. I wonder what this person means. I know they're P100 Ridge and P100 Alessa. I think that's what their title said. So I think they're a both roles type of person, but huh. I wonder, I wish I can figure that out. I probably could just type down, but that would require me to check ready. Then we go to Wraith, who I just feel is just infinitely better than most of them. Not because he has the best power, but it's basic, it's simple, and people really seem to struggle with Wraith. And I don't know why, but every time I hear about Wraith, it's, oh my gosh, we need to touch Wraith, he's... Just bodying us. He's a pub stomper. And I really don't understand why he's just an M1 baddie you can throw pallets at. But from the terror tales. <laughs> yeah, I just. I, I'd have to put him higher because I see so many people just getting worked by Wraith too. And it's not even just. Just even the terror tales too. There's a few um streamers. That I see just go, you know what? I enjoy Wraith. I saw two that were just. Hey, well, P100 race out of boredom. And they were actually winning fairly consistency. And I don't understand why he works. But he works more than Doctor. I can tell you that much. So, I don't know. Dredge! As somebody that has to go to lockers constantly, I can feel the pressure of Dredge. But again, over Doctor is insane. I mean, sorry, under Doctor is insane. And then Nemesis. Below Dredge and Wraith. You're telling me that this person puts finding people through screams. Maybe that's a good theory that you had. Oh, also, thanks for the follow earlier. Um, puts Nemesis under Dredge and Wraith, where you have two AI that sometimes gives you information about the same. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's less effective than Dr. Scream Shock. I guess I could give Static Blast um, a little bit more credit than that. But on about the same par of that, the ability to break things so you don't really have to worry about anything and distance. Yeah, I understand that vaccines might be a bit of an issue, but even then you can get through those pretty standardly nowadays. Below Dredge, Wraith, and Doctor. Interesting. And then we have the Chainsaw Rose. Who, mind you, I think I wouldn't necessarily put them at the top. But I think they have to be better than the guy that just turns invisible and moves faster. And the guy that shocks people five million times to get a hit. A good Bubba is a great Bubba. Same with a great Billy. Because everybody knows if you master Billy, you are insane at the game. Unfortunately for Doctor, you get almost no reward. Wow. B- is probably the tier that's thrown me off so far the most. But moving to B- plus at decent. Just decent, really. We have Cenobite. Hag, Singularity, Skull Merchant, Twins, and Slinger. I expected Pinhead to be higher. Hag above Singularity is kind of spicy. And I think I kind of agree. Especially when I made that video about how Singularity is everybody's favorite. But man, 
think that's why it's average because it's the middle ground. Like, Drex has great maps and terrible ones. Billy has great player and terrible... That is... Okay, fair. It does balance out where you do have some... Because if you see my Billy... <laughs> my Billy is not, not the Billy you need to see. Uh, <laughs> mental gymnastics here is... It's a bit, it's a bit painful, but, you know, it, I feel bad because I really looked at this tier list at a glance. I was like, man, this would be a great talking point. I don't think I've seen somebody hit so hard. And then when I'm actually looking at it, I think it hard, it, it, it's hitting hard, but my head. <laughs> that, but you're right. If you want to see great and terrible billies, oh boy, that is, that is very good point because it, it I didn't take into the how they do at their worst and their best. So I guess that can be said for Bubba too. But it's hard to be as bad as a nemesis as you can be a bad doctor. I just, I really want to know this person's take behind doctor. I really want to know. I really want to know. I don't really want to venture into the comments because who knows if that'll be safer. Safer streaming, safer maybe a video. I don't really want to know. I'll possibly look at those, but man, it's hard. It's hard to be this. It's hard to be a worse nemesis than you can be a bad. Any of these five, it's standard. It's standard. You just not even kind of win. You just kind of do your thing. Like if you miss whips, sure, but that's that's it. Yeah, you just exist on them. Per exactly, you just exist on them. I don't. Oh, man. But, yeah, you could tantrum and bump and everything on these two. So, I guess I guess that's still that. But, Doctor, you kind of just walk forward. And if you aren't timing your shocks correctly, you, and even if you're timing them correctly, most things in the game and loops aren't even that great for you. I don't know. I got to know this person's take on this one. But coming back to Decent. Uh, yeah, I guess you could be a boosted Cenobite. Just thinking about that. You could be boosted, not hit those chains. But even if you don't hit your chains, is it worse than Chase Hag? If you let yourself become a Chase Hag, no. I guess at the end of the day, you do still have your box going in the background. However, Singularity and Hag. Well, now that flashlights are gone... I guess I, I think I do really have to agree with Hag over Singularity. Because when I made that Singularity video, really trying to hone in on why people love this character so much. Even though nobody seems to be getting constant results except for that one YouTuber that I've seen. Like, I, I don't know any Singularity mains besides him. And I don't even know him personally, right? So, yeah, I don't... This is, this is a wild one. This is a wild one. But, Singularity over Merchant. I, cur I, I do like the state of Merchant, if I'm being honest. Is she that strong? Is she that strong, though? Seeing her over Twins is weird, though. I think Twins gets a bad rap. I think they're actually kind of fine in the current meta. So I think I'd actually place Twins right above Hag, if I'm being honest. I think if you know what you're doing with Twins, and even as someone that doesn't really know what they're doing with Twins, as long as you remember, hey, if I just start slugging everybody, <laughs> you, kinda, you can kind of turn the game on its head. Especially when you can be essentially two places, maybe not at once, but consistently. Then Slinger at the bottom of B+. I can agree with him not being better than anybody else in this tier. But all of these over... Yeah, the only skill he needs is to aim. That is true. But at the end of the day, I think I do agree that... Slinger being 110... This still slightly hurt me. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Now... Especially with the very, very slight reload change and the update to some perks being more usable on him. Such as Surge, Jolt, whatever. Being something that he's one of the better users of, especially because you can drag them over to essentially the area you kind of want to get it procced on. But I do think that 
he's still hindered. I I think technically I would still give it over the rest. Uh, him below the rest. Hey, I think that's weird. Actually, I think I'd put Slinger over Hag, but consistently Hag over the rest. So that's interesting. Yeah, singularity. Huh. He's a tough one. He's a tough one. Because it is very easy to be bad on him, but even when you're good on him, the juice isn't worth the squeeze, in my opinion. And Merchant, not necessary. I might say DS Larry Hag. Slinger, Larry Hag. Slinger, Larry Hag. Slinger, Larry Hag. I think I can, I can see that. I can, Slinger, Larry Hag, yeah. Yeah. Especially when you don't have an EMP to get rid of your power and it's not on a timer before you get something slammed on your head. A little bit of vaults, better perks, um, synergy. Slinger, then Larry, then Hag. Hag, 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 Hag. That is another thing. Hag is still 110, so if somebody isn't popping your traps, you have less less control over your kid as opposed to Slinger and Larry. You know what? I like that. I love Larry, but he's a lot of work for no more results as well. Normally when you play Larry, it's either zero. <laughs> yeah, it's a definitely all or nothing with Larry. And for, he's definitely feast or famine a lot of the time because if a squad relatively knows what to do, it gets pretty tough. And if they don't, well, you can play the game. I think overall, with, I think I can, yeah. Uh, I'm down for some Slinger Larry Hag. So I think in total, I think I'd still place all of them under Twins, though. Yeah, I think I'd still. So I think I'd probably still go Cenobite, Twins, Merchant, Slinger Larry Hag with that input. Yeah, I, I can. I can vibe with that because Merchant is just in a in a state where people still don't really understand. And just from that week or so that I was tweaking around with her and bringing up good builds. <laughs> Hello, Draconia. Um, bringing up good builds. I think that at the end of the day, there's so much that can you can just torment with being merchant i think that you can just get away with a lot right now and i don't think that's changing anytime soon but then going on to strong we have oni over sadako sadako pyramid head zeno and then huntress huh oni being at the top of this list is a new one i don't think i ever place only that high because you can have if you have a bat like a bad early game is a outright dunzo for oni like uh, uh, and i mean like a bad one not just the and eh, it was kind of shaky but if you have even slightly a terrible one that's what i was thinking too i would have moved cenobite up here to a minus and probably put him above the rest of these if i'm being quite honest exactly I would put Seno up here. Seno, not Zeno. So, Cenobite, Pyramid Head. Um, Pinhead, excuse me. I'd put them up here in A-. minus, And then probably Sadako. Because Sadako is such a pub stomper right now. I don't think she's overpowered like some people might say. Because her chases feel pretty darn bad. And again, once people figure out what you need to do, I think you'll be I think you'll be much better. But right now people just seem to not understand, hey, if I just hold the tape and then when I get into a chase, like I alright, I got the hit off, but then I go back and get another tape. I I think people aren't respecting her enough and that's why she feels so bad to go against right now. Her power is pretty pretty simple it's like singularity but people really don't know what to do and then for oni it's you're definitely you cannot afford to mess around and yeah taking in 
to consider an average build, you might get some corrupt in there. You might get a a popper, a pain res, and probably lethal. But even then, if you chase the wrong person in the beginning, and you let too many gens fly, and you don't get to... <laughs> yeah, that only wins when your Dwight gets many more than four gens. At four gens left, excuse me. Yeah, that's... Right. Like, if you don't... If you truly have know what you're doing, she's a pup stopper. But besides that, I don't think she's consistently... Just better than the rest. Oni, however, is also one that just, you can't, I can't see being at the top of A- minus when you have the likes of Zeno, Pyramid Head, and Huntress. I definitely, I definitely put Huntress over, over Oni. But Alien is a tough one. Alien is a tough one because there's only, I think I only know of one person that's kind of maining Xenomorph. And I've seen some impressive things with it. Oh. But I think... I, I don't know. I think... I know that they refixed the tail or whatever, but I'm not... I'm not too high on Xenomorph, if I'm being honest with you. I think they're just fine. I put them kind of just as a better version of Demo, but not nearly this high. Pyramid Head, you just have a mechanic that lets you skip, you know, a lot of perks, where that's a lot of the strength, and don't get me wrong, I've definitely done some nasty things with Pyramid Head myself. So yeah, I guess I can see the A- minus here. But I definitely think that we're sleeping on Huntress ever so slightly in terms of Oni and Zeno being in the same tier. Huntress, if you, if we know if you're a cracked Huntress, you're just done. And if you're taking in best into the worst into account, it's hard to be the absolute worst Huntress. I know that she's a player favorite, especially when it comes to new players too. But even then, you play with your new player friends or the new lobbies and you're playing Huntress and you will still get a fair amount of hatches to connect with somebody's body. Whereas if you are new to Oni, trying to get to that Oni dash and trying to generate enough blood throughout the game, against other new players too doesn't matter or not you're just not doing the same damage push equivalent thank you for hanging out um you're just not doing the same damage as as a huntress just even as a best and or worse so i think for me to kind of look at this here who's the top of this <laughs> besides taking our centibite conversation into into question just what they have here with those five I th oof oof huh. with the five they have here I guess I have to put Sadako at the top of it which feels weird to say then you have a really good Huntress it's like a really good Huntress I think I have to go Sadako Huntress Pyramid Head, Oni, Zeno, if I were to rework this tier list. That feels so weird, because I don't think I would ever put all of these on the same one. Sato, Huntress, Pyramid Head, Oni, Zeno. Yeah, I think, I think we, if that's your guess, I think that's the same conclusion, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, okay, nice, nice, nice. Legit the same conclusion. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that feels consistent enough in the basic with the five they give us here on this tier list. Then for A plus, Spirit, Chucky, Plague, Artist, Wesker. Wesker at the bottom of A plus and Plague above him. Wow. I think Chucky is in that current state where people don't know what to do. But it's, I've seen a lot of talk of Chucky being possibly the third best in the game. And a lot of talk about being maybe top five. Do I agree with that conversation? I think Spirit, for me, is always going to be number three until something drastic happens. So I'm going to always let her be A+. Plus. I don't necessarily think that she's ass. But I do think she's not nearly as bad as people consider or 
as bad to face as people consider nowadays with their add-ons getting touched up. So, I don't know. I think that she's not that bad. I think Chucky might also have some wacky hitboxes making him a bit easier to... That is also true. I've definitely got some blasphemous hits. There's definitely... <laughs> there's definitely been a lot of scheming with Chucky. Oh, man. So, that is true. Plague over artist is a weird one, but I understand. Because when I was making a couple of artist videos... I never really understood how bad it could be when it comes to elevation differences, especially on something like Swamp. Yeah, Spirit is definitely way, way less oppressive than what people make her out to be. But I do think... Do I still give her more credit than the rest? Yeah, I think I still do. Artist definitely hurts at the worst. And if you are just a bad artist and you're not following up with crows, a lot of it is learning that you kind of just have to fire one and then fire again. Not necessarily ever firing off multiple if you really can help it. Plague over artists, though. Plague gives you inform. I guess they both can give you information. I just want to say artist. I started to misspeak there. I guess artist gives more information, but I understand the logic that plague if you're paying attention you get about the same information and you can snowball yeah yeah exactly she's still strong but you know not not as bad but plague does have snowball potential whereas i guess the other two that are below her don't and chucky does seem to be a real pain in the butt to deal with right now huh Chucky over Plague. Chucky over Plague. I've seen some wild things. And the fact that you can Chuck Tech Spots or Chuck Spot. I think that's what we're going with as the community name for that. Where you can pretty much just do what survivors do and stand at corners and see if they're going a certain way. I think... I think he is there. But Wesker under them. Wesker under them. I think there's too many funky hitboxes for Wesker to not put him above artists. Do I think Chucky should be included being new? I think it doesn't hurt. I, I definitely would have waited until like the end of his cycle. Not cycle, but like I, I think I would have waited another month or two before placing him. Especially when we're in the period where devs might still come back and touch something like this is like the you know one or two three week release where they come back and they go you know what you guys were actually right this add-on we're going to make it a purple for absolutely no reason or things like that i i can see their inclusion on it just an early prediction and a why not talking point but i just i don't think i should we should take it at i uh, I would say I should not take it as seriously because I'm the one being stupid and thinking about it this hard. So, you know, to the point, should he be included? Yeah, why not? But I think we take it with a pinch of salt more than the others. So, yeah, I guess with that, with taking my own advice, maybe Chucky can be top five in his current state. I Scamper is not as strong as I expected it to be. Even with that green add-on, or both green add-ons, actually, the one to make him 5% faster and the one to give him vision after a scamper. Um, not too bad. And I do think he has higher power capabilities than Wesker, even though they have essentially the same power, which is interesting. Even though Wesker can have an insta-grab, so that's odd. Excuse me. Um, but I do think that I put Wesker over Artist. Yeah, I think for consistency's sake, I put Wesker over Artist. And then Plague. Plague, Plague. Plague has snowball potential compared to Wesker. But if you have RNG on your pools that are just bad, you kind of have no control over your own game. So I think I put Wesker over Plague too. So I think for A+, my final would be Spirit, Chucky, Wesker, Plague, Artist. The snowball is like really, is really feast or famine, but you just, sometimes you just get bad RNG on 
And then, I think this might be a separate video on its own. Plague Horse. Yes. And if you just don't use Plague's power, it's just done. <laughs> you can't force people to cleanse. Contrary to how many videos I've talked about using perks to do it, and how many other people have kind of talked about it, you can't. If somebody really doesn't want to, they won't. <laughs> they just won't. So, you know, you can make it really brutal for them not to, but sometimes you just don't have access to your power. And this S tier, it's labeled as OP. Um, I don't necessarily have the strongest feelings about that. That is true. Plague Kerr at, at a few weeks ago definitely still had to face MFT the hardest out of everybody here. Even Legion is just like, well, at least you can catch up to people. Whereas Plague, you didn't. S tier being overpowered, however, is a topic in which I don't know if they're ever overpowered. And I'll be honest, I don't think nurses are even that bad anymore. I think we all are still struggling with PTSD from uh, nurse with haunted ground, starstruck agitation, whatever it may be. But you don't see nearly enough, nearly enough. Uh, I guess that that's not the comment. Nearly as many nurses as you used to. That's tried and true because it's not necessarily. She does break the game, quote unquote. But ever since her attacks got moved to special attacks, not as much. And especially when I saw people talking about friends till the end. And even people that know better that know her attacks are now special attacks. It was weird that people were like, yeah, geez, if you put friends till the end on Nurse, it's just game over, man. Game over. But that's just so far from the truth. I personally think that Blight might be the strongest in the game. Consistently. Especially when we take into account add-ons. And frankly, I think I might even move Nurse down to A. A plus, rather. But, I know that's a take and a half. I just don't... I don't think you should be as scared as Nurse as you used to be. And I guess that's maybe clouding my judgment on that and giving me bias. But I don't think Nurse is... Nurse is not at that. Nor do I think that she's the strongest anymore. Because she lost a lot of perk synergies. When the fact that her special attacks are now blinks... People play against Nurse like normal and don't play around Vision as much as they should, 100%. Even if you have a Nurse with full aura, and but we all know, in the current meta, everybody's still using, like, uh, Distortion, and now they're bringing Calm Spirit because they don't want to be found. It's not even... It's not even a question. Whereas a good Blight, and sometimes a bad Blight, if you've seen my Blight, I can still make do... Whereas a bad nurse, my nurse is abysmal. I don't touch these two because I feel it's not worth it, right? Like, it's just like, all right, if you get good with them, you know that you're good at the win every game. But, yeah, taking account their best and their worst. The best blights, definitely, I think, are still more dangerous now than the best nurses. And the worst blights are still much much more lethal than the worst nurses. Like, if you've seen me trying to get some blink attacks off, it's not great. So, yeah, I think I think I do knock her down an entire tier. But, uh, for the sake of just S's, I think I'll put Blight over and then Nurse. And I think that's, I think that's it. This isn't, this isn't too bad. This, the list, I definitely have questions. I definitely have questions. I will say it's not as good as I thought when I first glanced at it. And that's not even shots to the person that made it, because good is subjective. But more so, I thought this was, like, spot-on accurate. But then some of these placements, like, <laughs> I'm not going to understand Doctor for the rest of the day. I am not. Doctor is rough. Over Clown? Man, I didn't even think about that. Over Clown. Ha! Huh. Doctor's rough. It's just hard to be that bad of a clown where you're not doing anything Doctor could do and better. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. That's that's a that's a take. That's a take.
but let me stop the recording for this part um and i'll do an intro just for the heck of it or outro excuse me um so that is the review the reddit review of this killer tier list for e from eclipse if you like the video like it got a comment for me comment and until next time peace out my monstrosities <laughs>